Howdy folks, it's Jason and I'd like to talk to you about a very exciting new watch from uh, Tickris called the Tickris Max S. This watch is very exciting uh, in the sense that it is an evolution of some of the ideas that we've seen in those bigger screen watches. Um, the Max S is a little bit smaller than the uh, Lem T, uh, the DM100 which is a good thing. If you were considering one of these big smartwatches, then probably you should take a very closer look at the Tikris Max. The Tikris Max S has a slow and completely silent boot up. As far as health sensors, we've only got the step tracker and a heart rate monitor. It seems to be as thick and heavy as the Lem T Pro slash DM100. Once again, we have a weather widget that shows the wrong place and there seems to be no way to fix this. We only get notifications from a certain limited list of apps. Otherwise, the screen re readability is quite good and the screen brightness is excellent. Okay, let's talk about the typical problems that the new user will have with the Tick Wrist Max. First of all, you should go into settings and background cleaner battery saver and turn that off. That's going to enable some of your widgets to keep running in the background. You're gonna find the font is probably too small. Again, go into settings, third party adapter and turn that off. If you have problems that are related to the companion software, which is called We Watch 2, we're gonna resolve that with a totally new app that you guys are gonna love. It's a great app you're going to love it. You're going to need to sideload it because it's an APK. Here's the site that it's from. It's called Settings Search. Right now with the uh, Tikris Max, the manufacturer's UI limits you to only a few items on the um, control panel, but Settings Search reveals a lot more of the controls that you need to see, especially the display uh, and font size controls. This app is number one on our list of killer apps and it is called Skrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
There's also a free version of it. It features a sweep second hand. The WeaWow Weather Widget is free and it is uh, utterly amazing. You can make donations to the author. Uh, WeaWow has uh, some beautiful different widgets for the home screen and in the no notification shade you will see um, a little photographic representation of the weather. This is my good old battery level. You've probably seen this before because I use it on all my watches. I like the simplicity of it. Uh, everybody wants to know about Netflix. Yes, Netflix will run on your watch and no, you can't download it from the Play Store. Simply Google Netflix support older versions or go to the link that I have posted here and you will find an older version. Uh, Netflix will offer you an older version which will run on your smartwatch. Here's an another old standby is Wallpaper Changer. Wallpaper Changer is so cool. Uh, you can organize your wallpapers into categories. Uh, while we're here, let's just take a quick look at a new sort of category of wallpapers I've discovered, which is called AMOLED. And um, these wallpapers are ca characterized by a largely dark black background, which I guess saves energy if you have an AMOLED display and it looks really cool on a device like a smartwatch where you don't want the entire rectangle of the screen to be, you know, glowing color. I have bad news for VLC users. For some reason, VLC will not install on the uh, Ticris Max S. Here you can see that Google Maps seems to work well. Um, older generations of this watch um, did not have the pixel density to be able to read uh, fine text, but on the Ticris Max, you can read the text labeling fairly easily. I'm a big OneNote user. In fact, I'm looking at OneNote <laughs> right here. And OneNote on the Ticris Max looks great. Um, your notes reformat themselves to fit the small screen. Let me show you a comparison of the same note across um, PC, uh, my Microsoft Duo phone, and the Ticris Max S. Here is a great app I discovered by accident called Simple Clock. And let's just say Simple Clock is an app for when your smartwatch needs to be a real watch and nothing else. Simple Clock is freaking cool. You can swipe in different directions to change the colors and the fonts. You can add a lovely tick sound to every second, which is less annoying than it sounds. You can add it an additional countdown timer. There's a stopwatch functionality, etc. It's great. One app of interest is Weather Night Dock V2 free version. And this is a simple app which turns your smartwatch into a weather clock when you plug it into your charger. Now let's talk about uh, two meeting apps. Meeting apps being very popular in these uncertain times. Facebook Messenger Lite and Google, Google Duo. So this was Google Duo and now I'm gonna call, I'm gonna hang up and I'm gonna call you on using Facebook Messenger. Okay. Okay, thanks a lot. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Jason, how's it going? Oh my God, how are you? Each of those two apps has a minor, minor rotation issue. But outside of that, both of those work perfectly as far as visual and audio quality. The charging magnet for the Ticris Max seems to be not that strong. Use the sponge insert to create a solid connection between the charger and the back of the watch. Let's talk about camera quality. So the front camera shoots in a square aspect and still images from that camera are 3,264 by 2,448. The edges of the images are blurry, which adds some charm. It kind of looks like an Instagram filter. 
The front camera records video at 640 by 480. The side camera shoots in 169, uh, 1280 by 720, which is uh, the lower end of high definition, but it is much worse quality than the front camera's 640 by 480 resolution. Still images from the side camera are 1600 by 1200, and they are completely terrible. Okay, folks, let's wrap it up with some, uh, some conclusions about the Tikris Max S. The Tikris Max S is a much more practical version of the uh, DM100, and it is a more functional version of the DM99. And once you've customized it, this thing is great. It has most of the features that you need and the screen quality, memory, and horsepower, battery life are all very good. Those are my tips and tricks for now for the uh, Tikrix Max. A lot of these tricks will work for any other and full Android smartwatch. If you have any questions about the Tikris Max S, I might be able to answer them, or somebody in the community, please write them down in the comments. Uh, I do read all the comments and I try to answer most of them. Please